Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. So many people are asking me about the battery life. They are facing different battery draining issues running iOS 17.3 or maybe any other iOS version. And they are asking me a lot of questions about the battery life that how they can improve the battery life of their iPhone. Well, in this video, I am going to talk about all the important tips and tricks that are going to help you to improve the battery life on your iPhone. And before uh, beginning this video, I really want to tell you a very important thing that I am running iOS 17.3 uh, as I can show you iOS 17.3 public update over here that comes with amazing cool features. Those features, I talk about those features in my previous videos. You can check out those videos. Well, before showing you the battery stats, I want to tell you a very important thing. The battery life of your iPhone depends upon how you use, how you charge your iPhone and what accessories you are using to charge your iPhone. These are really important thing. In my upcoming videos, I will make a proper guide about the accessories of the iOS, of the uh, way to charge the iPhone. Although I did talk about some of the important accessories that can enhance, enhance your battery life. Those videos are available on my channel. You can check out those videos. But in this video, I'm going to cover all tips and tricks that can enhance your battery life. And in upcoming videos, I will talk more about this so you can get much better battery life. Now, start before starting, I want to show you how the I'm getting how what battery life I am enjoying on my iPhone. So for that purpose, what I need to do is simply just go to settings and do the battery life and let the battery stats load over here. So if I go over here on this day, as you can see, according to the graph, I used around 85% maybe 80% of my phone as you can see it is showing it is upper than it is slightly above than the 75% which means I used around 85% of my phone and screen on time was amazing it is the best screen on time you can get 7 hours and 46 minutes of my mobile usage uh, by just 80% like if I use 100% I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get more than 10 hours on screen on time and this is the application that i was using that particular day i let me like slightly lower the brightness over here so you can see more clearly as you can see i was properly active on youtube snapchat instagram x whatsapp and this is what i got screen on time now now it's time to talk about the important tips and tricks to get this much amazing screen on time so very important thing is just starting with the very first thing is to go to the settings over here then go to the privacy and security over here go to the location services on top now customize these location services according to your choice for example i want app store to use my location so it is on while using the application now i don't want apple store to use my location so it is on never just like that I don't want a calendar to use my app uh, lo uh, location so it is on never but I want for example whatsapp to use my location so it is on while using as you can see there is not a single application that is on always using it is like while using the application or never now you can customize the location according to your uh, need according to your requirement and this is going to enhance your battery life a lot for example there are many applications that they don't need to use location but they are still using your location because of the default settings and they consume a lot of your battery you can customize the locations over here now going all the way down there is a system services as you can see in the system services, you can also customize the location according to your choice. For example, I want find my iPhone to use my location, but I don't want HomeKit to use my location because I don't use it. So this way you can customize also this one according to your choice. And this is also going to enhance a lot of battery life for you. Now go back, go back, stay in privacy and security. There is another option known as tracking over here. Turn the tracking off for all applications. Just turn this off. There is no need to turn these on. And it is also going to enhance a lot of your battery life for your iPhone. Now go back. Go all the way down over here. Go to analytics and improvements. 
turn all these things off there is no need to turn on these things go back go apple advertising turn this off too. go back again go to app app privacy report turn this off also go back and you can see by turning these different settings off you are going to enhance a lot of your iphone battery life well what you can further do is you can also customize some other settings for example if you are like me that you don't like to use airdrop more often what you can do is go to settings and go to general then go to airdrop over here you can uh, keep it on receiving off so it is also going to help to enhance battery life also i love to use the new journaling application but if you are not using new journal application what you can do is go to journal over here you can skip journaling suggestions you can turn this off it is also going to help a lot you can also turn off the location you can also customize it according to your choice if you want to turn off the notification you can also turn off the notification now there is a very simple thing that you need to understand notifications take a lot of your battery life when they pop up they use internet screen on and other things happen behind the screen behind the scenes and they use a lot of battery so you can also customize uh, notifications according to your choice so go to settings and over here go to notifications and now you will see i have customized my notification according to my choice for example over here as you can see aliexpress app store apple insider backdrop binance bitwarden black hole all the notifications of these applications are off because i don't need notification from these uh, applications but i need notification from whatsapp for example and it is on i need notification from youtube x so they are on but i don't need notification from for example tiktok tapmat or like strava or like spotify soundcloud snapchat uh, other games so the notifications for these applications are off so this way you can customize the notifications which can help to enhance the battery life of your iphone well this is all about the things tips and tricks that you can apply on your iphone and can get amazing battery life without a doubt and though you just uh, uh, saw that amazing battery life that i am getting more than around 10 hours for 100 percent of battery life uh, which is really amazing you can also enjoy this battery life by applying these settings well if you still have any question let me know in the comment section below if you are facing any issue regarding battery life or any other issue you can drop a comment i am always here for you guys well, that's it from this video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Do like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.